All right, hi there everybody. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Cabinet, which is one of the simpler audio effects or plugins that comes with Ableton. Um, and it's usually used in tandem with one we've already covered, which is uh, the Amp plugin. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, this, this effect. What we can do to start off with is um, hear how it changed the sound in this track that I'm doing. So let's take a listen here just to this one. And let's go ahead and get it playing. So it's just a simple little uh, guitar part that I played in and EQ'd heavily. And then I wanted to add some effects, so I put an amp on it. Uh, so l let's hear what it sounds like without any of these effects. Uh, we'll keep the EQ on because the bare sound is pretty rough. Very quiet. So I used the amp and just to give it some boost. I used the boost part. And then I compress that, just to bring the, the volume up a little bit. And then I added the cabinet. Now I'll turn the cabinet on halfway, listen to the effect this makes. So that's a really nice effect. It really does sound like you are feeding the signal through. Uh, a cabinet and and uh, let's let's take a look at the types you can use. So let's turn that off and bring a fresh one in. So first you've got this speaker section here and you've got all these numbers one by twelve, two by twelve, four by twelve, four by ten, uh, four by ten base. And these are just measurements. All of these are just measurements for the uh, the imaginary speaker cabinet. So you can see over in the uh, helpful tips. It says choose from a variety of speaker sizes. Um, a 4 by 12 means four 12 inch speakers. So uh, you've got several to choose from here. And then next you've got the microphone section and if you know anything about audio engineering or recording, uh, microphone placement is very important when miking anything but especially when you're miking things that would come out of a guitar cabinet like a guitar. Uh, so you can choose from either uh, near on axis, near off axis, or you can also choose far here. And um, on axis is probably going to give you a sound that's a lot more focused and clear. Off axis is going to get a little duller, less bright, tone things down. Far is probably designed to be uh, like a room sound, to give you the sound of the cabinet reverberating in the room a little bit. Uh, next we have this button here, and it's condenser right now but if we click it it changes to dynamic and this is just the type of microphone so generally condenser microphones are a little bit more um, I guess they're uh, they're used to, to to get an ambience or more sensitive material whereas a dynamic is used for uh, rough gritty harsh material so the, the dynamic is something you'd put right up against your amp the condenser is something that you might put, you know, a few feet away to capture the sound of the room. So a condenser might go good with far, but of course this is not a perfect emulation, so you can just experiment as much as you like. Finally, we've got the uh, output section, and first we've got a mono dual, and this is just like an amp. If it's at mono, it's a mono signal. If it's dual, it's a stereo signal, and it's uh, also going to take up twice the CPU. And then my favorite part is we've got a wet-dry control. So you can control, uh, as with many things in Ableton, the unprocessed signal and the processed signal and the balance between them. So you can do a lot of parallel processing. All right, so you can use this on a lot of things. Uh, again, you heard the difference it made on the guitar here. We can also use it, for example, over here. I had a, a nice percussion loop. And I'm using a preset here. I use this bright small box. I wanted to bring the sound down in scale. Uh, if we take it off, it sounds like this. It's very big, very stereo. But if we uh, turn this on halfway through, you'll hear that it kind of contains the sound in a nice way. So it kind of acts as a, 
an EQ of sorts, and and also uh, it's brought it from a stereo sound into this mono output, so that's nice as well. Um, but anyway, play around with it. There are uh, a lot of good applications for it. One of my favorite presets is the sit in the mix, which I think I used on this lead sound, maybe. Um, yeah, I used it over here. So uh, I'll play you out with that. But anyway, the next video we're going to be covering um, the chorus plugin, which is really deep. So I'll see you again for that one. Thanks a lot. Thank <music> you.